Hello and welcome back to the channel. Bit of bike news. We finally got the full details of the new Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. Here's what you need to know without any nonsense. It's got an all new triple engine, 1160 cc's of it with 180 horsepower and 125 newton meters of torque. It's also a lot lighter than the previous bike. The power to weight, I think is up 26%, which is huge. So weight is down to 198 kilograms wet. But the most impressive thing is the price. Here in the UK, it's gonna be 15,100 pounds, which against the likes of the Super Duke and Aprilia, once you've added all the options on, seems like a bit of a bargain. Obviously, this is going to be made in Thailand like every other Triumph, so don't get your knickers in a twist about that. It's a huge change from the bike that came before, and to be honest, a huge change from the 30 years of speed triples that we've had since 1994 when it first came out. Basically, I asked the Triumph engineers what is carried over from the 1050 bike that came before it, the one's on sale now, and they said, literally nothing, not a single piece of the old bike has been carried over which is music to my ears. I've owned a Speed Triple before in 2011, and it was good, but it's always been weighed down by a heavy old engine. The new one, we'll get into the details in a minute, is a lot lighter, it's revier, it's more powerful. The big news is that the heavy and slow revving 1050cc engine has been junked and the new engine is seven kilograms lighter and it's all new, 1160 cc's, as I said, and horsepower is up from 150 to 180. So it's a huge jump really, isn't it? 30 horsepower, that should make itself felt. Torque is up to 125 newton meters, which I think is only seven newton meters up over the old bike. But if you look at the dyno graphs, I'll try and stick them on screen actually you get more power and torque pretty much everywhere with this new engine. Red line's just over 11,000 RPM and Triumph says they've been speaking to their customers and they've built what they want and what they wanted, unsurprisingly, was more power. So hooray, we finally got it. Well done Triumph. It's fast as well. Triumph says that it's 3.9 seconds faster to 140 miles an hour than the old bike. So it'll take you 10 seconds to get from a standstill to 140 miles an hour and the old bike would have taken you 14 seconds. So there we go, it's not just numbers and nonsense, it is, ostensibly at least, faster. Now, if you've ridden the old 1050cc engine, you'll know that it had loads of real-world drive, but it never revved particularly quickly. Triumph says this new one has 12% less inertia, so it should get to the red line quite a bit more quickly, and obviously you've got a quick shifter and a blipper as standard on this new bike, so you can hammer through the gears and rev it out a lot more quickly than before. The old one always felt like a bit of a kind of long stroke truck engine with loads of torque but never much pep at the top end. This new one is a short stroke and bigger bore to get that 1160cc. Uh, so it should be a bit racier. Now obviously because of this new engine, the first journalist in the call I was on said, are you going to build a new sports bike? And they just laughed. So I wouldn't expect one. As well as new engine, we've got a new gearbox. It's six speeds. It is stacked and because it's stacked and smaller and more compact, They've managed to make the swing arm a lot longer for a bit more stability as well, though wheelbase is exactly the same. Triumph is saying the new gearbox is the smoothest they've ever put in a speed triple. Um, that's funny because if you've ever ridden a speed triple, the gear change is probably not its strongest point. The gearbox in my old speed triple was about as smooth as one of Donald Trump's chat up lines on a porn star falling down some stairs. It was a bit crap, so hopefully this new one will be buttery smooth. This new engine breathes out through an all-new low-level exhaust. There's no accessory exhaust coming for the new Speed Triple 1200 RS. I asked Triumph about this on the press call and also when I was on the Trident launch as well. And they've said there's just no point because there's nothing they can do to make it louder or faster or more powerful or lighter. They put all their efforts into the OEM exhaust and obviously this new bike is Euro 5 compliant. So I feel this is just the way of the world now. Manufacturers are not going to be doing so much of the, oh, look, have this cheeky race-only exhaust that your dealer can fit. So yeah, bit of a shame, but it sounds quite good. The new Speed Triple isn't all about power though. There's also a brand new chassis, brand new frame. The frame is 17% lighter than the old one. It's still aluminium and they're making a big point of the fact it's narrower as well between your legs. They've also moved the foot pegs inwards for more ground clearance and they're claiming that this is going to be a proper riot on track and I think the press launch will have a track riding element in it. 
though what with covid we will see if that actually happens obviously it's got full early suspension it's got nix 30 forks up front the ttx 36 shock at the back for the bling factor and bear in mind this is a 15 grand bike it's not an 18 20 grand bike that's pretty decent i think it's fair to say triumph is claiming a lot of weight saving over the old bike they've reduced the weight in the cush drive and the rear axle for example to reduce unsprung mass and every bike's going to get a lithium ion battery as well to save 2.3 kilograms over your common or garden motorbike battery and it's going to come on metzler racetech rr tires as standard although you can get a super corsa sp as well if you want which is homologated for track use as well there we go fun facts braking comes courtesy of brembo stylima calipers for sports bike like braking it should be good at least they'll be shiny if nothing else Right, let's talk about the electronics. The new Speed Triple gets an all-new 5-inch TFT dash, which might sound boring, but they've optically bonded the screen with the glass, like in an iPhone. That should mean you get far less reflection than on the old bike and on other bike screens as well. Quite excited to see what that's like. You can shift the taco about, and there are two themes that you can flick between to customize it how you want. In terms of riding electronics, it gets a six axis IMU with switchable traction control, cornering ABS, front wheel lift, and that's all tied into five different rider modes, one of which is track. So you'll be able to customize those and turn the anti wheelie off and all that sort of stuff. Sorry, anti wheelie. Front wheel lift control. It's a speed triple. You're going to do wheelies, aren't you? If you like your tech, you'll be pleased to know that the My Triumph connectivity, like that's the Bluetooth app thing, that is fitted as standard, as is cruise control. Heated grips are on the options list and tire pressure monitoring is on the options list as well. One thing Triumph is quite proud of with this is for the first time, their keyless ride system, it's a new keyless ride system, has a keyless fuel cap as well. They kind of said this like it's a good thing, but if you've ever tried to use the keyless fuel cap on a BMW 1250 GS, you'll probably be swearing and saying, just give me a proper key. But hey, these technological advancements are kind of inevitable really, aren't they? But there we are. Now, finally, I want to talk about the styling. I don't normally like talking about styling because you've got eyes. Hopefully you can see what it looks like and make your own mind up. Only thing I would say is it only comes in black or gray with some little fluorescent highlights. <sighs> Triumph says that this is what buyers want, but I want a pink one, a nuclear red one like the old days. It's just a bit dreary. It's your most fun, exciting bike that you've done in years, Triumph. Just give us a roulette green one or something. Like, make it an option. Come on. Oh, yes. And there's lots of carbon fibre bits on it as well. Um, and good news, it comes with an interchangeable pillion seat and cover. It's not an optional extra. You get it with the bike. So you don't have to go and spend 150 quid on a bit of plastic to smarten up the back end. If you've got no plans, take a pillion. That's good news. Right, finally... The price, £15,100, I've told you that already, and it's out in February in the UK. And I don't know how much it's going to cost or when it's coming out around the world, but in the UK, it'll be here very, very soon. Go and buy one, it looks quite good. Right, that's the new Speed Triple 1200 RS. Sorry for rattling through lots of facts and figures, I just thought it's quite an important bike. Most exciting Triumph in years. Uh, I can't wait to go and ride one might buy one i had one 2011 really enjoyed it and they fixed all the problems the speed triples had in the past 10 years such as the weight and the old 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 engine so yeah will you be buying one let me know in the comments um, are you excited tell me in the comments please like please comment please subscribe hit my bell and i'll see you next time i'll be outside not sitting in my daughter's bedroom